Well, we haven't got results yet. The dress is going up. I believe it starts tomorrow, uh, today actually, and tomorrow, today, what day am I in? Tomorrow, uh, the, the auction starts today, and I also have another auction on there with uh, Jane, it's Jane Kaczmarek's organization. We're also doing another auction for uh, Red Cross as well for the Haiti earthquake. Well, Jane is great. She was on the show Malcolm in the Middle. We've been friends for years, and we first worked together when the tsunami happened, and then I was in the airport leaving New York, flying out here to L.A. the day after the... Uh, day after the earthquake and I was just sitting there watching all the devastation on TV and I just said I, 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 we got to do something I called Jane's assistant she had Jane on the phone in like 10 minutes and I said we got to help we got to help let's do something for Haiti and she was like you know what that's a great idea let's so we were first first on the boat for that we really we've gotten some great dresses in so you can go to close off our back www.closeoffourback.org and you can buy Christina Hendricks dress which is from the SAG awards which will go to women's charities and you can also go to closeoffourback.org and you can buy a bunch of other celebrity memorabilia and dresses and clothes and that's going to go to help the Red Cross for Haiti relief and they need some relief over there Jane Kaczmarek just does a great job with close off our back well, fortunately, nobody was really sagging at the SAG Awards, but I, I've been working all week with the, uh, with the folks at Degree, and we got together and did this dress for Christina Hendricks from Mad Men, and they won, which was so remarkable. There's nothing like, you know, working on something when the person wins. Nobody wants to work with a loser. <laughs> So, and, and actually, this has just been a great year because I've been friends with Sandra Bullock for years and Drew Barrymore, and to see them both winning time after time at the Golden Globes, the SAG Awards, is so exciting. And, uh, you know, I'd have to say it was a pretty good night the other night. I actually liked the dresses at the SAG Awards a lot better than Golden Globes. Golden Globes were all these kind of origami and very stiff and structured kind of wedding cake dresses. They look like wedding cakes, half of them, no? <laughs> Chloe Sevigny had all those ruffles going on. Chloe Sevigny changed at the, for the parties, and we were hanging out with her with Grace Jones at the HBO party, and she looked so much better in the second dress. I was like, what were you thinking in that first one? It was like a, she drowned in a tsunami of ruffles. But the SAG Awards, I just thought everybody was so beautiful, and there was such a variety of color, which I love. I think, you know, you always want to dare to make a statement, and color is a great way to make a statement. I love Christina Hendricks' red dress, and there were a lot of red dresses the other night, Edie Falco and Joan Allen, and I loved Carrie Mulligan from An Education. That beautiful Lam Van dress was so cute with the, with the little diamante pins at the waist. That's a great way to get it. That's one of my other tips, actually, is you know, putting pins on a dress, but I'll get to that one next. So red was a, red was a really great statement color, and I love that um, Diane Kruger's dress from Inglorious Bastards. That beautiful marigold color, did you see that? That's a hard color to wear, but she really pulled it off. And the funny thing was, I've worked with Cheryl Hines a lot, also from Curb Your Enthusiasm. They basically had the same dress on, but Cheryl's was this oceanic green-blue color, and hers was in satin, and Diane Kruger's was in marigold, but they were two different designers, I believe, but it was like the same dress. It's very odd, very odd to see. I was like, wait a minute, I've seen that dress tonight. <laughs> I love Drew Barrymore's dress, too. The makeup, not so much. You know, I, I think that most of these girls have good style to start with. You know, we obviously have the people that are like, I don't like clothes. My mother was a fashion person. I've never liked clothes. But really, you know, I've been very fortunate. You know, I've worked with the, the most glamorous women in the world. I, I'd have to say Barbara Streisand was a little difficult. The guys are the worst. I worked with Michael Jordan. He was really difficult. And the worst was Dennis Miller. I, I hate to say negative, but... Those two really, it's, it's a shame. Dennis Miller was so mean, but he wears a size 7 shoe that might say something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know. I'll let y'all, you know, do the math. Uh, yeah, just mean. Oh, I, don't, I don't like stylists. I don't want to wear clothes. Oh, I can wear what I'm wearing. Da, da, da. And LL Cool J, I worked with him too, and I was really surprised because I'm a major fan. You know, he's a hometown boy from New York, and... You know, I, he just was like, I wear triple XL. It's like, mm, no, you're really not that big. XL would be fine. I wear triple XL. It's like, mm, yeah. You know, and he's like, I'm not wearing it if it's not triple XL. It's like, you know, I think sometimes in Hollywood, people just get so caught up in their own hype that they don't realize everybody's here doing a job. We're there trying to make their day. You know, I'm just there to make it best for them. I don't have an ego involved in this. I don't really care. I, I'm dressed. <laughs> I look cute. I, you know, I ain't worried about myself. I'm trying to make you have a good day. So uh, it's very 